Welcome back to Essex Farms. Today we're going to be taking down this Widowmaker. So hit that thumbs up and we'll get started. So we're at the bottom of the farm in the woods. And if you have a wooded area on your farm, I'm sure you have a tree like this every once in a while. Uh, this one fell over when that hurricane that came through, even though we didn't have bad winds or anything. I guess it just caught it right. And uh, I've been meaning to get to it, but uh, I haven't had time. Uh, usually if we have a bad storm or something, I always leave my cows up at the barn anyway. So they hadn't been in this area or nothing. So, But I want to get it down before I put them back in this area so that way it don't fall on or anything. So there's three things I do when I have a tree like this. The first thing is I look up and make sure there's no limbs uh, hanging or dangling from any tree limb that may fall when I walk underneath it. Uh, this one's pretty much open. It's just stuck in the trees over there, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, the second thing I do is go up and push on the tree, make sure it's not gonna fall while I'm working around it or you know, as soon as I start to cut it, it'll fall over or something like that. And the third thing I do is I go around the tree and pick up and move any kind of sticks or brush uh, just in case I have to run away. Uh, you know, you don't want to be tripping over uh, limbs and brush and stuff like that. So the first thing I do is take this wire off the tree. I got that wire on there because I was going to come in here and build a small pond, like maybe a foot deep or so for the cows to stand in and stuff during the summer. Uh, you can see I got this little ridge right here where I had built it up. And I come out here with the John Deere and my old box blade and uh, started pushing this dirt. And once I got through like the third time, uh, a little wet spot came up and my tire spun a little bit, but I didn't think nothing about it. I was like, I got four wheel drive. So backed up and dropped the box blade again and uh, started pulling and the tractor just sank. And uh, the more I tried to get out, the deeper it sunk in the mud and uh, I got stuck pretty bad. But I had called my neighbor and he brought his uh, skid steer down here and got me out. So I did get the pond built, and what I did was I diverted the creek right up here and let it come in and fill it up, and then I turned the creek back the other way, uh, just somewhere before the cows would come in and stand and stuff. And it worked really good until we had a really bad rainstorm, and this inner area in here is like a valley, so all the water comes through here, and uh, it was just like a flood through here, and it just took all that dirt and uh, left a big hole. That's why I had the fence up here, and. Uh, keep the cows out of there. I got I got to work on that too after I get the tree down. So when you have a tree like this, you don't want to come in and just cut straight down uh, with it because that's going to the tree will fall in and pinch on your saw blade and uh you have to go get another saw to get it out. So what I do, the best way that I've found to do it is I come in here and cut a little relief split uh, about halfway through and then I come up underneath at the very same spot. That way the tree can come in on itself and uh, give you room to get the saw out. You can also come in and cut like a big wedge out, but I found that if I do that, the tree falls a lot faster because it has more room to close in. Uh, and it seems like the tree falls a lot faster. So I just cut a little slip in it now and uh, that seems to work a lot better. So when I started cutting the tree, I noticed there was gas leaking out pretty bad and uh, the cap broke off of it. I had to come in here and get a different chainsaw. It definitely would have been easier with the bigger chainsaw, but uh, the small one worked just as good. So now I'm gonna go get my tractor, uh, hook a chain to it and pull the tree out of uh, out of the top up here. Uh, and if you don't have a way to get a tractor down or if you don't have a tractor, you can always use a come along, hook it to a tree and just uh, pull it down that way.
looks like I got a few more dead trees in here. Probably go ahead and cut them down too. Once I get my big chainsaw fixed, I gotta get a gas cap for it. So this is a pretty good sized tree. Uh, we're gonna cut it up and use it for firewood. So uh, it's not gonna go to waste. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and we'll see you next time here on the farm.